Wow. I suppose wonders will never cease. Madame Lou, you actually came to deliver the spring clothing. You are radiant, and your eyes shine. So where has your recent aura of bad luck gone? Could it be... Fine, you guessed it. <laughs> Don't worry. Other people do not have the same powers of observation as I do. Be honest with me. What's the good news? <laughs> Seems things are looking up. No wonder you are happier. Remember, you must face things calmly. Mm. Don't be a loser. <laughs> hey, why are they all made of linen? See? They put you in charge of buying, and you're so tight. We cannot wear satin clothes? You've no idea. Since early last year, we haven't managed to get enough satin. We have enough for His Highness and concubines. So, we're making do with linen for the spring clothing. So it's like that. Hey, you're good at business, yeah? So where's your foresight? You can cultivate silkworms. Maybe we'll come up with something in time for next spring. Silkworms? Sister, what are you doing? Well now, I'm cultivating silkworms. I'm learning to make their habitat. <laughs> this won't do. It'll be a few months before they start spinning silk. These frames are far too dense and the leaves are too bitter. I don't <laughs> think these worms will spin silk. You know this stuff? Mm. you have to say? Highness, Her Majesty made me. It's not my fault. She made you. I understand why you faked it. But what about the blood that night? You had many chances to tell me the truth, but why didn't you? And don't try to tell me she threatened your whole family. You know, you did save my life. If you'd asked for help, of course I'd have helped. Highness, it was just a mistake. Girls care about their reputation, and I love you deeply. But you didn't even look at me, and I was obsessed. That is why I did this. You know you lied to His Majesty. And are you even sorry? I took a chance to remain at your side. Just let me do that. Or I'm glad to die. Really? Really? Highness, I know I'm wrong. I only did it because she said she made me. Look, if you keep me in your house, I, I'll expose what she did. Let me stay with you. I... Don't mind being a maid. You think you're in a position to negotiate with me right now? <laughs> I know you're with the Empress. Why do you think I protected you? I was grateful that you'd saved my life. But your performance today has destroyed the last favorable opinion I had of you. Listen close. It's not hate. I despise you. Highness. You can't say that! It's because I love you that... <laughs> love me? Does loving me give you the right to do evil things? Or give you the right to lie? You've hurt me and the woman I love! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs>
Long life and great fortune to your majesty! Get up. Yes, majesty! I have some business. Go ahead. I have a complaint to make. A complaint? Well, what's it about? It is against 8th rank official Shen Bi. Someone made her tell the lie that she was having my child. But where's your evidence? Shen Bi's here, waiting just outside. Come! Majesty, I admit guilt. I became obsessed and set up the prince. But somebody insisted that I do it. Please spare me. Highness, I have here statements, eight midwives from the harem and from her highness. They can prove that Shen Bi is actually still a virgin. In which case, she can't be pregnant. Oh, no. She was lying. How could she? Your Majesty, someone threatened the lives of her family. She was forced to do this. Who'd have such audacity? Madam Lo, she made me do it. I have all our letters here as evidence. Please have a look. Infu, get the letters. Yes. Madam Lo. Was it just Madam Lo? Highness. Get Lo Ching Chiang here! Summon Lo Ching Chiang at once! With more mulberry leaves, we could have had more worms. But they don't just eat mulberry leaves, they can eat oak leaves too. But their silk won't be quite as white, and it will be thin as human hair. As long as we have silk, there are many oak trees. Where do we get worms? I want some! Hey, madam, go check Tai Ji Hall. Miss B's been accused. His Majesty arrested Madame Lo. The day's come. Highness, I'm an official. I just wouldn't dare. I did all this to serve Her Majesty. That's the reason. I don't know oh, that. How could Her Majesty plot against the Prince? Yeah, Vu. Quiet! I can't do just be quiet! Quiet at court! Her Majesty's message! Greetings, your majesty. Get up. Majesty. Her majesty says she wants me to inform you that Lo Ching Cheng acted alone in her planning to fool the prince. Terrible crime. Her majesty is ashamed this was in her family. Your majesty, be impartial. Do what you feel's right. Aunt. How could you do this to me? I gave you everything. It was all Her Majesty! Silence! You're so guilty. How dare you say these things? You just deserve death! Please, I beg you. Remember, I'm from the Low family. I beg you! Wang, you know law and what she has done. So what do you think? Crimes like this against the Crown? Execute her. Take her out! Yes. yes! Kill her! Aunt, why are you so cruel? Highness! 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 The sentence has been passed. Highness! Never speak about it. Yes. yes. Chen, it's such a good day. Now we can stop pretending. Hey, 
So why the long face? I hate Madame Lo, but... Oh, I don't know. Now, Jen, come, sit. Now listen. Lo Qingqiang deserved to die. <sighs> okay, listen well. Loving your foe is hurting yourself. Mm. Right, cheer up. Mm. And His Majesty says, once Minister Lu's letter comes, he will finally grant us marriage. Another year, you'll be able to marry into my household. Why does that sound so unreal? It is easier said than done. I made the Empress give her up to protect herself, so she must hate me. My brother is glad that she's safe. Now he'll keep a close eye on her, but she knows that I won't let her off. So she'll wait until she finds a chance to strike. She is like a cornered cobra. So listen to me, Jen, please be careful. Watch her movements well. Mm. So, how is B feeling? <sighs> I've spared her and assigned her to penal servitude. <laughs> Your Majesty, it was, it was so sad. She died with her body in pieces. Misfortunate. Highness, when I was coming over here, I heard Consort Xiao's decree being read. Noble ladies don't have to pay respect to you from now on. No one is allowed to disturb your meditation. Gao Zhan, Xiao Huan Yun, I will not forget this. Hold it. No entry. Her Majesty's meditating. His Excellency sent me to bring Buddhist scriptures. Greetings, Your Majesty. That was fast, so your injuries healed. If I tell that you did it deliberately to swap the ledgers of the Accounts Division, I'm afraid you'll have many more injuries. Majesty, how did you find out? Ching Chang is dead and B is gone. So no one could know? Don't forget, she too is aware. Your Majesty, what can I do to please you? You are one of Madame Lu's girls. What can I do to you? If you promise to do this thing, you do it. And then I'll let you off the hook. Linglong. Madam. What's up? Oh, I'm feeling unwell. I went to the doctor for medicine. I must take it. It must be your injury. Be careful. Thanks, madam. I will. You get back. I'll tell the kitchen to cook you good food each day. In time, your injury will heal. You take care. Yes. gold and silver ingots for Consort Xiao to hand out. Where do they go? You'll place them in Consort Xiao's repository. Madam, they are ready now. All of you leave. Madam, must we? Yes.
You mean she's ill? Hmm. The doctor examined her. She's actually ill. I saw it. She was delirious, her jaws locked. She couldn't even eat. Maybe heaven's punishment for what she's done. No. I'm sure it's a trick. She wants to get some sympathy so she'll be released. Why shouldn't I fire you? You couldn't treat a cold. Highness, sorry for saying, but I believe Her Majesty's been poisoned with strychnine. What kind of poison? No color or smell. At first, you'd feel lethargic, then more like a cold. But later, you would have convulsions and die crazy. But who would dare to poison my mother? Go. Search. You will bring the culprit before me. Yes! yes. Rest in here. They're searching apparel. Everything's such a mess. Relax. They won't find anything. No, of course they won't. Ling Long. Sister informed me that their target's Prince Changguang. She said the Empress gave her poison. They want to set him up by using the poison. But we're being really careful. They won't be able to find a trace of strychnine. Oh, Ling Long, I'm tired. I'm gonna rest. Mm. Highness? Highness, it's too much. I deserve death. Please punish me. Jen treats you well. Where is your willpower? You chose betrayal? At first, it was jealousy, but then I was led, controlled by Madame Lo and B. I couldn't get myself out. I'm so sorry, but I had no other way out. Okay then, why come to me? Why confess to me? After I did what I did, I was ashamed to face Her Excellency, and I felt the matter was getting out of hand. Even you're implicated. It seems it's getting out of hand. You mean Empress Lo wants more than my pain? She told me that she wants to frame Consort Xiao. She asked me to hide some items in Consort Xiao's possession. Once they were discovered, she couldn't defend herself. But what items? A jade seal, the Empress's treasure, and talismans. I know she wants to frame Consort Xiao for sorcery, and she even made an illegal Empress's seal to satisfy her dream. Two birds with one stone. If she found that love pearl, she'll be able to frame me. Even if it isn't found, these items found in Hong Guang Hall will still ruin Consort Xiao. I deserve death. You must punish me severely. Just do not tell Her Excellency. <laughs> it's quite well made. Ling Long said she wanted to keep it at the bottom of the chest. It'd be some time before you saw, so you wouldn't discover it. If I could curse her, I'd be very happy. But your brother worries, as she's now in this condition. If I tell Yan she's faking, I don't think he'll believe me. You don't have to. 
I've had a look. One of her spies, first rank maid in justice. In another hour, she'll be here. And then... Stop here! Greetings, Excellency. I'm sorry to disturb you, but it's from His Majesty. Enter. But remember this. If you damage anything in there, you'll be in trouble. Yes. Madam, I heard she has a private repository. Where's that? Touch it. Get back. Greetings, Consul Xiao. Madam, I meant no offense. This is His Majesty's order. I have no choice. You... See this? Look what I found. The Empress's seal. Consul Xiao, I don't... <laughs> you can't have this. That's a crime. Yes, this is an Empress Seal. But I didn't have it made. Take a look. This belonged to Empress Yu. Before she died, she handed it to me. All these years, it's been in the repository. Everyone in the palace knows Empress Yu raised me in Hangguang Hall. Why? Do any of you dare doubt it? No, madam. I was wrong. Please forgive me. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so it's so long life and Long life and good fortune. fortune. But... she is really ill. Yan, I know you can't come to terms with it yet. I... knew something was up. But I didn't listen. I didn't want... to choose between mother and brother. But I didn't think... She'd use strychnine! John. I won't be soft-hearted. I'm going to Renshaw Hall now! Highness, calm down. You know Her Majesty. She has a backup. Think. The Lowe's still have influence. Jen, tell him your plan. Mm. Highness, Her Majesty is unwell. Treatment failed, so we counteract the bad luck. Bad luck? What's more joyous? Ascension? Appointing a crown prince? Which do you think is best? Go on. An empress. Consort Shao's had the phoenix seal for years. In Hengguan Hall, the seal shone brightly when she held it. The maids and officials saw a phoenix. Don't you think that it's a good omen? Bright light. A phoenix. You arranged that, right? <laughs> yes. Great. John, astronomers will announce the Empress Star shines bright and compliments the Star of the Emperor. It's best if we publicize it. We say to everybody, Her Majesty's Star is dim because there's no Empress. Yun, I know. I haven't made you Empress for many reasons. You've suffered grievances. 
We are husband and wife. Whether I'm consort or empress, it's only a title. Trust me, I don't mind at all. His Majesty now decrees that his consort Xiao Huan Yun is highly moral, gentle, and kind. According to our law, she is Empress, Mother of the People, and Northern Qi. That is all. Huan Yun, from now on, you and I will build Northern Qi. You're awake. Sleep well? Chan, what's wrong with me? You fell ill and almost died. His Majesty made Consort Xiao Empress for good luck. I didn't think it would wake you right up, the coronation. What? I, you... Doctor, go on. Chan, don't do this. I, ah... Uh... <laughs> Majesty, you've recovered from an illness, but your throat's sore. Therefore, you can't speak. Do not fear. You'll go to the Hot Spring Palace. You'll recuperate there. Mother, sorry. This has to happen. Take her majesty now. Yes! You spared her life. In the end, I couldn't do it. His Majesty was sad. I didn't want to see him. She's still alive, but you told the doctor to seal her meridian points. So, she can't speak or move. And sent to such a remote place. To a proud woman like that, this punishment is much worse than any death. Hey, why did Linglong suddenly leave? Danyang said she misses her mom. You're smart. You see it all. When Justice searched the palace, they found she'd hidden a love token from a man. Her Majesty wanted to protect her for your sake, but Linglong felt ashamed and left the palace. No wonder she left. Well, when the current war is finished with, I'll go and visit her. Mm. She did commit atrocities, but... 
Yet, you are soft, which means you're kind. But she was using your loyalty against you. You don't have to feel guilty. Hanyun? I just have you now. Wrong. We have our child. Say again? On the day you made me empress, the doctor checked. <sighs> Amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> what a happy day. <laughs> 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 wow, the silkworms are getting together in couples. Mm. <laughs> Jen, you happy? Mm. I've never been so happy. That's good. And I will cherish you. Minister Liu might have agreed to be your father, but the day we get married, I'll invite your nanny and your sister too. You will not get married alone. Chen, let's get our decree right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Majesty. Oh. John! Majesty, we came to... Just in time. News from the military in Guangxi. It's the borders. Wei has risen an army to seize towns of Guangxi. We're losing men in Guangxi. It's so bad. The palace will send troops. Are you thinking of going? Yes. Can we get engaged first? No time. We leave in three days. <sighs> Let them send the soldiers. I... I don't want... Jen! I know that you don't care about this. You're just worried. I am. I want to see you off from the gates. I want to tell others openly that I love you! the reason that we didn't get engaged at once. I couldn't die out there. And if I died, you'd be burdened. Don't talk like that. Who do you think I am? Chen, listen now. This is not because I don't love you. After every war, countless women get widowed and stay alone. You're from Han. But in Shanbei, you can't remarry. You're the only one I'd marry. I know. I know. Don't cry. When I leave, you'll have lots to do. Looking after our house, helping Huan Yun with the harem. Take care of yourself. <laughs> so, you take care. John, I await your return. Don't worry. 
I will be back soon. Take care of Jen. Mm. Your Highness, see you soon. Mm. Let's go! We shall win! 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 Turn safely. Madam, this is our brand new brocade. Ours? So we made these? Some time ago I tried, cultivating silkworms. When we had some, we got apparel to weave some new brocade with the wild silk. I brought these in to show you. You can evaluate them. If you think they're good, then we can use them in the harem, and they will save us some money. Mm. This isn't quite as white or soft as mulberry. But it's still gorgeous silk. Although it's not bright enough for ceremonies. It's perfect for every day. Listen, this brocade was made by our apparel division? Mm. I would like to have a look. Uh, yes. North Chi silkworms don't produce much. So silk's scarce. We had to import it. Now that we have wild silk, we have no more worries. What if this silk was promoted in all parts of the land? I didn't think that. <sighs> That's wonderful, and it's a business. Lu Jen, I will now appoint you in charge of promoting silk across the country. You can set all regulations for me. Sure, I'll put everything in. I'll make this successful for your majesty. Wild silk is not right. Something else. Right. This kind of brocade is Lou's brocade. Thank you, Majesty. You think it's a boy or a girl? It's not developed yet. I have no idea. Whichever one, I'll love them. It doesn't matter. Of course not. I prefer a girl, because of you, your beauty. Aren't you worried? A boy will affect John's ascension. Mm. We owe John far too much. I'd love to have a son, but in this situation, a girl is better. First, we'll have our own child, and then there will not be a succession issue. But John has said he doesn't want to ascend. <laughs> You're different since becoming Empress. Before, you wanted me to pass the throne to John. So I dread to think of how many times you planned to get me off the throne. <laughs> I'm only joking. Things are different. My health is better these last two years. But I'm afraid, in case I get worse, don't say it. I know you don't like it. But if we do have a son, John will keep his distance from us. 
with our son on the throne. Will you and he be safe even then? Chen and Wei will come. I've thought it over. It's for your sake. John must ascend. Only he can ensure peace. Lasting. Northern Chi will have decades of peace. And he is my brother. So if I die, he will ensure that you are both safe. Forever. I see. Don't worry. I'm just being safe. I mean, we can still make plans for our little baby. <laughs>